Hello everyone, this is Melissa from Trendline. In this video, I'll take you through how to get started with using some of the platform's features. Let's begin with the screener section. A stock screener helps you filter stocks based on your preferred criteria. These criteria may be price trends or market cap, shareholding, profitability ratios, return ratios, or trendline parameters like DVM scores, SWOT or checklist score, and so on. To access the screener section, hover over the main navigation bar at the top and click on screeners. Next, you'll see a list of pre-built expert screeners. Trendline has screeners across various categories. You can use them, copy them if needed, and add filters or queries to them. Trendline's most popular expert stock screeners include fundamental and technical screeners across different categories like DVM, growth, live results, delivery, volume, and much more. You can also find all-in-one stock screeners in the screeners drop-down. Here you will find pre-built screeners like intraday, moving averages, candlestick, financials, relative returns, relative value, and so on across various time periods. You can also change the condition and see results as per your choice. All-in-one screeners can also be edited by clicking on Save the Screener. If you wish to create your own screener, click on Create New Screener. Trendline has over 1,800 parameters from which you can create the perfect screener for your needs. Next, let's explore the screener backtesting option. Many Trendline screeners come with a backtesting feature that allows investors to see if their strategies have been successful in the past. This helps them understand the effectiveness of the screener in delivering alpha. Let's see how you can use the screener backtesting feature. To do this, choose a screener with backtesting feature available as shown here. Some screeners cannot be backtested if the parameters used are not backtestable. The next step is to duplicate the screener by clicking on Copy, then select the backtest icon. Next, choose the portfolio review frequency, weekly, monthly, quarterly, half-yearly or yearly, the start date and end date. This identifies how often you want the screener to rebalance stocks. Select the stock universe from the drop-down. You can choose between various indices, sectors, watch lists, or portfolio. Next, click on the Advanced option to configure the preferences and also the maximum number of stocks you want to be selected each time. Using the Sort by drop-down, you can select the parameter based on which stocks in the screener are selected for backtesting. It can be sorted from highest to lowest based on a parameter. You can then add the maximum number of stocks selected from the screener for backtesting. These stocks will be selected and backtested based on your selected parameter and sorting criteria. After making the required selections, click on the Run Backtest to see the backtest results. Click on Backtest Details as shown here for detailed backtest results. Moving on, let's see how to set up screener alerts. Once you have found a screener you like, you can set alerts on it. Trendline screeners are updated in real time and alerts are sent to you whenever there is a change in the stocks listed based on the alert frequency you set. To set up alerts on both pre-built and custom screeners, click on the alert icon as shown here. Next, choose how frequently these alerts can be set for 15 minutes, 30 minutes, hourly, weekly, etc. Select the stock group and the type of alert, entry and exit, entry or exit. Finally, click on add alert. After setting an alert for the screener, it gets added to your My Screener Alerts list. You can also make changes to the alerts you have set here. Screener alerts will notify you when a stock enters or exits your screener. This video has covered accessing trendline screeners, screener backtesting and setting up alerts. You can find detailed videos for screener creation and setting screener alerts on our channel. Now head over to trendline.com and make the most of what it offers. Thank you for watching. This is Melissa signing off.